Hi. Hi, Frank. Can I start with a bit of injury news, please, if there's uh, any? Yeah. Um, N'Golo, Kante and William are in the squad. Um, so we'll see if they're fit to be in a starting eleven. Uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek has got a, a small problem he picked up yesterday, so he's out of the game. How much different is this FA Cup final going to be to all the ones that you've been involved with previously? I mean, it's happening at a different time of year. The winners won't have the trophy presented on the pitch. It's obviously no crowd, which you experience in the semi-final. I mean, how are you all feeling about it and how does it affect your preparations? Uh, it, it doesn't affect preparations. I think it, it still means the same thing um, because a trophy or a title like this is uh, is one that either stays with you for life or you're pr pretty quickly forgotten if you're a losing finalist. Uh, I think that remains the same. Um, of course, you'd love the fans to be there. Our fans have been great for us all season. I'm sure Arsenal will say the same. Um, and love days like this to come and support their teams. And we, obviously, as players and, and staff, what do you mean? We thrive on that. What do you mean for you personally to win a trophy so early in your manager career? I mean, some managers have 30-year careers in the game, successful careers, and they don't ever lift a, a trophy. It'd be something special, I imagine, wouldn't it? Yeah, obviously. I mean, I would be um, delighted to. When you get to the final, you want to win it. Simple as that. And at this stage in my career, my first year at Chelsea, then of course I would love to do that, um, as you would at any time, really. But as a, as a pretty early start for me, I suppose I would do. I mean, it's going to be difficult. It's a difficult game in front of us. Many a great manager over periods of time have not been able to win things. So I want to lean everything on it. But now we're here in the final. Of course, I want to win it. But predominantly for the, for the club and, and for the players, for the, for the work they're putting through the year. Were you a little bit surprised, like the rest of us, at the way Arsenal played in that semi-final? I mean, it's not often in the last 10, 12 years we've seen Arsenal, an Arsenal team sit back and kind of pick a Man City side off on the break. Does that have a bearing on how you approach the game in that regard? Um, I wasn't surprised that they won the game. I mean, Manchester City were probably most people's favourites. They are in pretty much most every game they go in almost. So, um, I, but I knew that with Arsenal and the individual talent they have, the collective talent and the great coach that they have, that I think is really been positive for them since he's been there in a pretty short time, that they had the capabilities to, to win a game like that. So, yeah, it's a game that obviously I pay close attention to, but every game's different. They've, they've We've had other results recently, played in different formations. So we have to be ready for, for any eventuality. But we also have to know that Arsenal are going to be a very tough match. Let's go to Moose at TalkSport. Frank, how are you? Looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, very much looking forward to it. Um, you know, a cup final. No, no matter the different circumstances um, surrounding it, we're, we're pretty much getting a bit, a bit used to the new normal. Not too used to it, but a little bit used to it. But the fact remains that the FA Cup, uh, is a huge um, cup that we want to try and win. And we have a very tough match against a, a London derby rival. You've got some big decisions to make tomorrow, whether to include people like William and Pedro, for whom this will be their last game domestically for the club. Well, probably William, definitely Pedro. And what about in goal, Frank? Talk to us about Kepa and, and Willy Caballero. I know you're not going to tell me who's going to play in goal, but how difficult a decision is this for you in the next 24 hours? Yeah, difficult because uh, we have competition in the squad and um, and as we've seen through the season at times I've had had to change it or felt the need to change it. I always do it with the idea that can we win a game, can we be the strongest we can be in consideration of what our position are in front of us. And at big games like this that becomes slightly more difficult because I know how much players want to be involved in these games but we have to be a strong squad, we have to be together on it, whatever 11, whatever people on the bench because in the last period for us people off the bench have made huge differences in certain games we have to feel like we're all together and if we win it it means a collective um, thing for us so yeah difficult for me it, they'll be difficult to take but players have to be positive we go in this trying to win as a group John at BBC Hi Frank Hi on Olivier Giroud has been resurgent hasn't he since the restart what have you done with him to, to bring this, this form on or is it down to him well, it's, it's always firstly down to the player um, in terms of their individual form. And all I do is try and work um, with the group, um, make sure that hopefully my message is clear as it can be. And then individually to speak with players, work with players, with strikers, you will, they're a pretty specific position. So you work on a lot of things for them in and around the box, but they also have to be very aware of how I want them to work in for the sake of the team. And that's on and off the ball. Um, Olivier has always been fantastic at, you know, listening to information, relaying it, being a leader, being a, 
a, a person who's a pleasure to coach and that he tries to take in that information. So um, better credit goes to him for his recent form, sure. The team is obviously still a work in progress, but how important for the development of your team could winning a trophy be for the, the mentality of them and what, what it could do for them? Well, of, of course, it will be a boost because to win something like this would be great. But I think the experience of a cup final for young players is an experience anyway. I think it certainly is the case as a young player that you can improve with the more finals you play. Not, not everyone is so fortunate to play so many, but they are. They do have a different feel to them. There is an extra pressure and it's a, a necessity to win and that can change the face of the game and the, and the focus on the small details. So it will be a great experience for my players, whatever. Of course, we want to win. Antoine at ITV. Just on. Perfect. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, Frank, obviously you have a lot of success as a player. When it comes to some of the players in your squad now who would have grown up watching you win cup finals, do you have a special conversation with them or do you keep it more broad? I probably will do. I, I haven't specifically so far. We, we will be together a lot from now until the start of the game and my Sometimes it's the, the best words are saved till later on, just in the preparation, the final preparation for a game. But I also don't want to heap too much um, pressure. The, most of the players that have been part of the squad this year have played in big Champions League games, critical FA Cup games to get here against Liverpool and Manchester United at Wembley before and Leicester. And then, you know, they have, resp um, they have experiences, sorry, of, of playing big high-level games. So there might be the odd word, but I just want them to perform as they train, as they perform pretty regularly this season, because if they can do that um, and find those sort of standards, then I think we've got a really good chance to win. Of course, you've played in cup finals where you've had that Chelsea fan base behind you cheering you on. How weird will it be on Saturday without that? It will be. It will be strange to have um, you know no fans. We we are getting used to it, and it's not to say we like it because we want the fans back, but we have to respect. Uh, current circumstances, particularly with what's happening in the last few days and respect that in everything that we do. Um, so um, it, it is what it is as such at the moment. We are, the fact that we're used to it means that you can focus on the important things, which is us going up against a very good team, trying to win a football match. It sounds very simplistic, um, but that is what it is. And taking the fans away kind of actually puts a, a bit of a microscope on that for us, it should do. Um, but if you do win then the FA Cup title can stay with you forever as an individual if you, if you win it. So we, we can't be short on how important it, it remains, with or without fans. Um, and we have to focus on how we approach the game. Nick at PA. Hi, Frank. Um, thanks for your time. Um, obviously, you touched on Willian's situation um, still up in the air, but I imagine you've got no doubts that he will you know, give absolutely everything to the cause this weekend and be wanting to lift the trophy in Chelsea colours. Yeah, because um, I know William for many years now as a player and now as a coach and he's the player. And um, if anyone wants to see the mentality of him, it's been shown since restart. It's been fantastic for us. It's been fantastic this season, but shown the right attitude. So uh, I would expect nothing less than, the, than he's shown already. And uh, that's, that's William for you. James Olley. Hi, Frank. It's just following on from John's question, really. We, we often talk about, um, particularly for the big clubs, the domestic cup competitions being stepping stones to, to maybe challenging for the Premier League to the Champions League. You obviously won this competition four times. Do, do, do you see that? Is, is that a recognised sort of path that you can, you know, see these domestic cup competitions as a stepping stone to go on to challenge for, for, for the bigger prizes? I, I don't quite see it as, as matter of fact as I've been asked it quite a lot in the last couple of weeks probably since we qualified for the final um, as in if you start winning if you win this FA Cup that means that all of a sudden all the young players will be experienced and we go on to fight for the league titles etc I think it's a nice boost but it would only mean anything going forwards if we take the boost put it in our pocket and continue to work and improve as a club on the training pitch and how the club moves forward so um, I'm not trying to, to, to play it down at that point but I think um, a, a good club, a top club, will compete for cups and titles, league titles, pretty much every year. We did it for a long time. At the moment, we, in the last few years, we haven't been able to fight for that league title. So this will not mean all of a sudden we're back and in that picture, but it can be a nice, small, small step um, when you consider where we want to get to next year. Nizar? Hi, Frank. Um, Arsenal could get into the Europa League by winning this game. Do you think that adds an extra pressure? And, and what's your personal admiration for Mikel Arteta and, and the job he's doing? 
Yeah, I'm not sure what pressure it adds, as in as in whether it becomes a positive or a negative. I think we can really focus on that, um, and that's their problem, as far as I'm concerned. As in a good problem, they can get into Europe by the game. And we must make sure that our mentality, whether we qualify for the Champions League or not last week, that we are not affected in any way negatively from that. This is a game that means a lot to us. It means everything to us as we go into it. Um, so that's just where we're at. Um, in terms of Arteta, I think he's uh, done a really, really good job since he's been at Arsenal in a short space of time. I know that feeling you're trying to lay down messages, um, you know, repeat and repeat and try and, and drill things home and make relationships and see where you want the club to be taken forward. And from the outside, and it's always different from the inside, I particularly know that, but from the outside, you have to have, I've got big respect for the way he's done his job. We're going to finish this section with Jerry Cox. Hi Frank, um, David Luiz a player you know well, obviously as a teammate and you let him go this time last year. We all know, you know, one week he can be brilliant, another week maybe not so good, but is that something that's in your thinking? Have you, have you almost targeted him as, as a potential weak point with Arsenal? No, I certainly haven't. Um, I look at Arsenal as a, as a collective and I look at the individuals within the team and however we prepare for the game has to remain private, but what I do have for David, for David is a a real respect to the teammate that I played with in the Champions League. We won in 2012 um, and the bond of that group and not just that group, but that group over those years was huge. And David was a big personality within that, a top player within that. And when I think about preparing for a game against Arsenal with David in the team, I know how good David could be and what an influence will have on their team. So I look at him in that way. Absolutely. Okay, that finishes that section. Give it a second.